Vladimir Comrade Mielenkov. Comrade agents, thank you for coming. Here's what we know so far. Ten years ago, the United States government covered up an invasion by an alien race known as Vurons. The primary agent was this Vuron, Cryptosporidium 137. Dangerous, unpredictable, and now, deceased. So, what has been problem? The problem, comrade, is that Vurons can clone themselves and pose convincingly as human. And they've used these abilities to put Cryptosporidium 138 into the White House. <gasps> and the American people are not noticing? <laughs> no, no, right. Pull the other one. Even worse, this new crypto clone contains pure Furon DNA, harvested from human brains by Orthopox 13, mastermind of the invasion. He also bears a mysterious new mutation, referred to only as the package. Ooh. These aliens pose a dire threat to the Soviet Union, comrades. And so, they must be destroyed. As we speak, President Crypto is in Bay City, attending a youth cultural festival. And Orthopox? Conducting experiments in the Furon mothership. Savages. Degenerates. There's only one way to deal with such men. What is the... Revolution. That can't be good. <laughs> Greetings, comrade. Mother Russia sends her regards. You expect me to beg, human? No, little Furon. I expect you to die. Mine's bigger. of my exquisite mind into this holopox unit just before the ship exploded. Gee, that is lucky. Virtual pox, huh? Kinda constricting, ain't it? 
Well, beggars can't be choosers. The good news is ancient Furon Lazdi beacons were left here eons ago during the war with the Martians. If you can find and activate one of those beacons, you'll be able to summon your saucer. Neat trick. And then, I kick a little monkey ass. Crap. Amuse thy languid Furon god, and stamp my idol with bolts of electricity. Attend the holy syllables of the great Ark Voodle. My waning joie de vivre is rekindled. Landing zone activated. No sweat. It needs to be aired out every 5,000 parsecs or so. I need to bring in some big guns. Uh, know where I can get my hands on some. I did manage to jettison some data cores before the mothership was hit. You might be able to recover some weapons from them, if you can find any. But it certainly won't be easy. Okay, so, where are the data cores? That's just it! They could have entered the atmosphere at any time, in any place, and therefore landed anywhere on the planet. I've managed to locate only one. It was ejected after my holopox unit, so it landed quite nearby. So let's get flying, huh? I'm itching for some serious payback. Not so fast, my ultraviolet minion. My scan of the engine core has revealed some critical damage. It appears the saucer took a hit, or 12, on the way here. No, 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 don't say it. I'm afraid we can't possibly take off until the engine is repaired. Ah, oh, man. Well, I guess there's nothing left to do but scout the area and find that data core. Beat 
I've spotted a weapon dagger on near your position. I'll slap it up on your face. <laughs> alien spacecraft out of the sky, and yet the shriveled geriatric one somehow survived. The Shopas must be harder to kill than we thought. I spit on them! <laughs> Nonetheless, inform the Kremlin we shall proceed with the operation as planned. Tell them we need as much revelate as they can ship, as quickly as they can ship it. Da, Agent Orincho. And our American distributor? He suspects nothing. In fact, he seemed quite enthusiastic about the whole idea. He thinks he'll be spreading revolution in a paper cup. And so he will. But not, I think, the sort he expects. The idealists. They spit on them! Stalin, he understood. Ideas may start revolutions, but guns and gulags finish them. Well, no matter. Soon the citizens of Bay City will be embarking on a very bad trip. <laughs> Whatever it is you're doing, I may have a plan. 